of love. Love connection. <laughs> so here we are, we three queens. I'm Micheline. I'm Sonda. And I'm a Qing. Guess why we're in red, good people? It's February! Ooh, the month of, of love. love connection. <laughs> we're maybe a little bit corny and silly, but we really do love red, first of all. <laughs> and we love the idea of love, right? Which comes in many shapes and forms, of course. But for this one, we've decided to dig a little bit into the, how can I call them, the quirkier side of um, dating? Let's see, I'm sure the ladies have great stories. I'm scanning through my file <laughs> of different types of dates, the good, the bad, and the ugly, to see which ones I can share. So who wants to start? Of course, you can see how I'm stalling, right? Because you know, <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. Okay, enough context, we get it. We are gonna talk about dating. Yeah. Who would like to start, right? I'd love, particularly anything that's different, unusual, or quirky in your dating life. With an example, no, not, not theory. Oh, ready. Yeah. you're ready to go. Okay. You know, I'm ready to go. <laughs> okay. Do you know, do you know, I mean, for me, I'm going to talk about the, the, the racial dynamic, I think. Ooh, I mean, that's a goodie. Yes, that's a goodie. Know, the complexity <laughs> of that, you know, the dating scene. So uh, many years ago, I was dating this really lovely man, and uh, we took a trip to Mombasa. And so, I mean, I was the one in full employment and he was doing his independent thing and, and not that, you know, we were pretty much an equal income kind of space. Right. Anyhow, so um, we went over um, for a weekend and, um, but for me, the problematic situation was when every time the waiters came to me, and I didn't realize this actually because I just moved to Kenya, I didn't realize this. Because it was a European white male, mm -hmm. every time they'd look me up and down, like I'm the prostitute. Oh God. And then the, the, Why do the we bill, do this here? The we bill would this. come and they would be like, uh, they pass it on to the man, and the man would be like, no, she's paid. Oh my God. So, I mean, that That's confusion crazy. was like, and, and, and I was just thinking, oh my goodness, so if I'm in this dating space, mm. are they looking at me as the prostitute mm. or what? What is this judgment? Yeah. And right. I found it so exhausting. Yeah. I found it so exhausting. Oh, that's terrible. Why yeah. do we do this here? I know that I've heard about this a lot in Mombasa, yeah. in Kenya, but in Africa overall, right? Mm -hmm. If you're the woman and you're black, and you know the guy is, you know, he's white, it's obvious that you're the, you know, sort yeah. of what the poor one, the one who can't gold afford digger. a meal, the gold digger, etc. Mm. And you're just there because you like him, and like you said, you're at equal levels in 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 a, in a way. Yeah. Ugh. Did it just, how did you oh, feel? Yeah. Oh my God. Did you say anything? How did you react? No, but for me, it was kind of like, you know, looking at the, the, the looks on their face, mm -hmm. like, you know, he passes on the bill and say, mm. no, she's paying. Mm. They'd be like, oh. And I look at them, I'm like, you're not getting a tip. You know? Mm. That's you terrible. Know? Yeah. But did you, did you have to, like, take any of them on? Because I know that sometimes they can be really overtly no, I didn't, disrespectful, I, I just, or it I wasn't just, so bad. No, it, mm. it was quite disrespectful, mm. but I just, I just ignored it. I yeah. just like, you know, took the bill and I lingered with it in my mm. fingers, looked at them, mm. and then I'd be like, uh, in my mind, you're not getting a tip. And <laughs> I'm like, can I please have the machine? I'm playing with my card. Mm. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Confidently making Confidently, your points. And, yes. you know, and I'm taking my time because I think there's that confusion in their space, in their mind. And yes. Like, yeah. 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 No, unfortunately, Don't this judge is me. still the case yeah. for interracial dating, especially when the woman is black. Mm -hmm. I know that among sort of younger folks, say, I don't know, 20s in the States, particularly in big inner cities, New York, Chicago, this is changing so fast. Mm -hmm. I see a lot more interna uh, interracial dating at that mm -hmm. age. And there's... At least what I've heard is there's little bias mm -hmm. that is being projected from others, right? Because right? these are kids right. hanging out. There's there's more mixing in that group anyway. Right. But right. for now, yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oof. Exhausting. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes exhausting. just have to breathe yeah. through yeah. these moments. Yeah. Um, any quirks? You, I know you have some stories. I, like, you told I, I, some I could stories. write a book <laughs> of quirks for about check, this thing. I think thing. what I need to say is <laughs> one story only. <laughs> Are you talking back to your book? You're, You're spoiling my name. You're full of stories. And they're always <laughs> oh, unique. And we would like one. 
Okay, I can show <laughs> just one. <laughs> Swear you all to secrecy. Yes. So my example is from the online dating world. As yep. you know, now people, yeah. you know, li online. you know, people are busy. Lives are hectic, yep. and sometimes you just don't have time to go out and sit in, you know, and, and meet a guy, yep. you know, in a, in a in a physical location. So right. of course we go online. Hey. So my story is an on online dating one. Yeah. Where you know, um, you know, you connect with you know, the, you know, a couple of people, and then kind of shortlist. It's like an interview process, as I'm sure you guys watching know. And then shortlist you know, somebody day. qualifies, That's and so then funny. you decide to go on the date. You know, you have a few conversations, and mm -hmm. you decide to go on a date. Mm -hmm. So um, it was in Europe. Um, so I go on this date. Um, we're meeting um, in a central part of the city, and uh, the person calls. Uh, when he arrives, you know, because we're going to drive to a restaurant, an area with lots of restaurants. Right. And so I'm like, okay, cool. Now, this guy was very good looking. Okay. He was really, really handsome in the okay. pictures and everything. Okay. So I'm standing there waiting. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. The sky You're is so blue. Funny. And then the car a car drives up. Mm. And then somebody opens the window okay. and beckons. And I'm thinking... It's that dirty old oh, man beckoning at me. I'm not I mean, sure why is he beckoning is at me? Do, I don't even. And so I, I turn know. and look away, kind of like shameless. Are you going and to I look know? away, completely offended, like, thinking, so is he trying me. to pick me up just because I'm a black girl? Actually, he was the problem. guy. Ah, Except. What happened to your handsome guy? He was 100 years old. Ah. I mean, he was 100 years old, you guys. I can't, I can't the just... picture he had put online was like when he was like. <laughs> He was a bit like, I don't know, 40 or 30, 35 or something. So, of course, I didn't recognize him when he opened the window of his car and beckoned, you know, you who. And I'm, and I'm looking away thinking, shame on you, old I mean, not, nothing against old men. Yeah. You know, I respect you. You know, you've earned your stripes in life and all of that. But seriously? Seriously? Don't be so, an ageist. I mean, you know, I know, and I shouldn't even talk because I'm, you know, over 40, but... But the shock is like, but it's dishonest. Yeah, that, it's dishonest. Because he'd put a picture of him when he was young. Oh my God. So I was expecting to meet this guy, you know, young, nice looking guy, you, you know, and then I got such a shock. <laughs> so anyway, of course, what by the time... Do? Actually, did you go on the date? Did imagine, you? I did. Oh I'm so silly. Oh. I did. And how was it? It was... It wasn't, it was, it was dry. It was, it wasn't fun. I think already in my mind, I was like, oh my God, shut oh my down. God. I had shut, shut down. down. I really shouldn't have gone, actually. Oh I just God. shouldn't have gone. That's but I was hilarious. there feeling, you know, polite. And you know, as Kenyans, sometimes we're a bit polite You're and everything. So funny. Yeah, so that, that was my story. So when guys go on, like, guys, just double check. Like you should have, the person should have 10 pictures before your show. And when you talk to them, yeah, I mean, just, yeah, just check. And honestly, if they've lied, you probably shouldn't even go on that That's date because crazy. if they can lie about that, what else are they lying about? That's right. You know, probably they have four wives and eight kids <laughs> parked in the house somewhere. You know what I mean? So you can't be too careful. Oh my so that God. Was my and what's story. really interesting about this is I've heard from guys who say that it's us usually, right? It's usually the girls who have, you know, we have our eyelashes, we do the yeah. nails <laughs> by the time we've done the weave, and then the sometimes, you know, that foundation that's like three shades too light or whatever, and then you're in the pictures <laughs> there, right? And then when they see us, they're like, that's not you. So I actually haven't heard <laughs> the inverse, right? Yeah. Because really all guys can play with his age. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I think we, let's also check ourselves and not put just those glam, glam pictures. Mm. <laughs> well, kind of yeah. With our lashes. We've got to look good, but let's also just look like we look. Yeah. And you know what I'm thinking of? Yeah. So when I lived in Brazil, I went to, uh, Brazil has different carnivals in different areas. I lived in Sao Paulo. I used to go to that one. I used to go to the Rio one. Mm -hmm. But a lovely community carnival is the Bahia one in the Northeast. Oh, yeah. And the Northeast has a lot of the, um, the, uh, the, the black, the Afro-Brazilian community. Anyway, so I'm there with like my two um, good friends. Mm -hmm. And um, so some guy is like 10 meters away. And we're like, oh, please, please, can you take a picture of us? Okay, so you know I'm not like so selfie savvy. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm always asking someone to take a picture of me. Yeah. So I'm standing with my girl and this guy comes and he's handsome and he takes the picture. Long story short, he's like, so where are you guys from? And we're like, ah, Africa. He's like, ah, Africana, Africana. And he's just like so enamored. He is black Brazilian, remember? Anyway, so we end up meeting up at the carnival. And from there, I went back to Sao Paulo. He went back to his city and we, tr we started dating. And he'd come and visit, I'd go and visit. But where it really got stuck 
was one day at a cafe. This was my local, mm -hmm. right? It's almost like saying your local art cafe. Right. So there I was, yeah, we'll just have like the croissants, the usual, the eggs, Benedict, and you know, a cappuccino. And the bill comes and he looks at me and he says, Micheline, I, he calls me like, I, me, me? I will never be able to, direct translation, I'll never be able to accompany you in your life. And I really was like, what is he, what is he talking about? <laughs> it's mm -hmm. the economics of dating. Mm -hmm. right. And I thought I'd bring that up because, yeah. you know, I had never thought about this before because I always dated, you know, say you meet someone at school, you date, you're kind of of the same, you're yeah. from the same hood exactly. or at university or, you know, from work circles. Yeah. And, you know, I had never, I just, this had never occurred to me. And he's oh. like, I mean, I can't like pay this keep paying this bill oh you know wow yeah and i and so That's it's honest though. it's, it's honest it's, it's, it's yeah actually yes it's, it's really yeah. honest i thought yeah you know and the thing if i rewind back to when i was deciding to take that carnival attraction yeah. into yeah good old you know this is my boyfriend whatever dating mode right. yeah some friends warned me they're like no you know this this thing doesn't work is he are you guys from the same walks of life yeah and all of that? but mm. i was willing to try to yeah. date on chemistry yeah which i'm still willing and to able do. to do right yeah. where it's just an yeah. instant hit yeah. and it's not about we're from the same place or yeah. we're from the same schools i really right. wanted to use my heart yeah to date and i yeah. much as that didn't work out i, I still know. kind of feel like that's yeah you know that's the way to do it after all yeah. the heart has yeah. to be you have to be well, realistic you have to be absolutely realistic because you know the thing is you're not going to be um dating somebody for example the example that you just gave and you take this person to the ritz mm. honey they're not in the same league i'm sorry okay i don't go to the ritz every month just have you but i see what you mean <laughs> <laughs> i see what you mean but you know where this is really important i find as you know like i talk to you know younger people if we had started together at you know i don't know 17 18 you mm -hmm. know it's and then you're like yeah. similar universities you yeah. build together so exactly. it doesn't matter yeah. if exactly. one was rich and had own money and yeah. one was poor and had no money you basically equalize Absolutely. Yeah. but you know yeah. and then i was you know god knows whatever 30 and i just felt like it was possible yeah but the yeah. reality hit yeah yeah, reality yeah we just in. couldn't do these things together because and it's a macho society also yeah. and yeah. he was definitely not up for me paying all the time mm. And no, uh, nor was I sort of able to pay for both of us all the time. All the time, right? yeah. Right? Yeah. So anyway. But you know what? Mm. I've had the exact opposite okay. in the sense that the guy would always pretend he forgot his wallet. Ah! Uh, I you kid see, you not. On that one, please. We were in a let restaurant. Me never have an example. The guy to give. told me, but he he pulled those moves. He pulled those moves a couple of times. Yeah. And I very quickly caught on. Red and flag. It was a big red, a flag. It was, a, I don't know, a sheet, a black. It was huge. Yeah. You know, let me oh tell you, God. I ran for the hills. Of course you did. Because you know, I've heard I mean, this, but I've never, please, I don't want this to happen to me. Let's just touch wood because, <laughs> seriously, you know, it's, it's, it's awful. Yeah. So I think, you know, I really mm -hmm. admire this guy mm -hmm. because he had the, the, the courage and the integrity. Mm -hmm to tell you straight up. I exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, I really, you know? I really appreciate that. Yeah. And, you know, and so this is, I guess I started by saying quirks, but this is really like dating unusual. If, yeah. if you think interracial dating is right. still, you know, is not, is not um, really mainstream yet. Yeah. Online dating, some people are still raising eyebrows. And, you know, I guess mine was, you know, obviously in a very foreign place, but also the idea of just, you know, different, different economic whatevers, right? Yeah. Um, but let's just continue to date away and have fun while doing it have and fun. just, you know, spread the love <laughs> and not be afraid to let our hearts, you know, give, give a bit of our heart, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's, uh, we've been chatting for a while, we do need to wrap up, but because it's like month of love, there's always that song on your iPhone or on your whatever playing that's one of those lovey-dovey <laughs> gets you every time, yeah? <clears throat> Anyone wanna? Lionel Richie. Okay. Which one? Penny Lover. Oh, I love it. So that's your song that makes you feel? Oh, it's just. What? You know, it, it just, you know, kind of gets into my heart. And oh, like, I love it. That's a very nice, that's a beautiful song. Mm. Good old Lionel. Yeah. What do you have? I've always. Okay, I love James Ingram a lot, yes. but I have a really big soft spot for Michael Bolton. Ooh. Because. 
first of all, his voice is surprising versus his look. Yeah. You know, I just find like, you know, he's, he's got a black voice. Let me just call it. Yes. He's a brother. You know, he's sure. he's got a he's brother's a brother. voice, a brother. you know. He's, yeah. You know, and so I love his voice. So I always okay. love, um, uh, what's the song? What's the song? How am I supposed to live without you? Oh, that's a lovely one. It's, and, and that's one of the ones I love. Actually, my child was conceived on oh, that song. Okay. Ooh. Should I you say that? Her. Are you, I hope everybody Oops. listening is over okay. 21. Yeah, this is but it. that's what I've always <laughs> loved that song because it was so meaningful and that was, it was really, you know, for me, my that's child, nice. I love her to bits and, yeah. you know, that was a time of love and, you know, oh. meaning, love in the way that we're talking about yeah, it. And so for much. me, I've always loved Michael Bolton because he sings so beautifully and the words are so beautiful as well. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, I haven't had that song in a while. No? You know, I have many, and I'm one okay. of those, if you ask me to pick, I just yeah. can't think of one. But just before we started, I was telling the ladies that, you know, I love Whitney. Who doesn't love Whitney? And there's yeah. that one song. Yeah. If you say my eyes are beautiful, beautiful. it's because I'm looking, looking at you. Anyway, I won't bore you with my slightly husky <laughs> voice. Clearly need a glass of water, but I love oh, that wine. song. <laughs> wine hour coming up in a few. So people, we love, love. We appreciate the crazy, quirky, interesting, different dating stories that we have. Thought we'd share them with you. And your turn. Tell us. Tell us what you think about love. Tell us what you're doing this love month. Um, and Valentine's is coming up in a bit. Any plans? Or just dating stories. Yes? Please, please, please. Merci beaucoup en français, Deutsch, Espanol, Portuguese, Swahili. Remember that we take it in all the different languages. Oh, yes. yes, yes. So... Subscribe. Gracias. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Subscribe. Subscribe. And that's all we have for now. Look at that beautiful kiss of love. Thank you so, so much. Happy Valentine's. Bye. Ciao, ciao.